Napon is a sulfonated tetrafluoroethylene-based fluoropolymer copolymer discovered in the late 1960s by Walther Grot of DuPont. It is the first of a class of synthetic polymers with ionic properties which are called ionomers. Napon's unique ionic properties are a result of incorporating perfluorovinyl ether groups terminated with sulfonate groups onto a tetrafluoroethylene backbone. Nafon has received a considerable amount of attention as a proton conductor for proton exchange membrane fuel cells because of its excellent thermal and mechanical stability. The chemical basis of Nafon's superior conductive properties remain a focus of research. Protons on the SO3H groups hop from one acid site to another. Pores allow movement of cations but the membranes do not conduct anions or electrons. Nafon can be manufactured with various cationic conductivities. Nomenclature and molecular weight, Nafon can be produced as both a powder resin and a copolymer. It has various chemical configurations and thus several chemical names in the IUPAC system. Nafon H, for example, includes the following systematic names, from chemical abstracts, ethanesulfonyl fluoride, 2, 1, difluoro, trifluoroethanol, Osimethyl minus 1, 2, 2, 2 tetrafluoroethoxy minus 1, 1, 2, 2, tetrafluoro, with tetrafluoroethylene, tetrafluoroethylene perfluoro 3, 6 dioxaformethyl 7 octanesulfonic acid copolymer. The molecular weight of nafon is uncertain due to differences in processing and solution morphology. The structure of a nafon unit, shown at the top of the page, illustrates the variability of the material. For example, the most basic monomer contains chain variation between the ether groups. Conventional methods of determining molecular weight such as light scattering and gel permeation chromatography are not applicable because nafon is insoluble, although the molecular weight has been estimated at 105 a euro 106 da. Instead, the equivalent weight and material thickness are used to describe most commercially available membranes. The EW is defined as the weight of nafon per sulfonic acid group. For example, nafon 117 indicates a material with 1100 GEW and 0.007 inches in thickness. In contrast to equivalent weight, conventional ion exchange resins are usually described in terms of their ion exchange capacity which is the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the equivalent weight, that is, IEC equals 1 slash EW. Preparation Nafon derivatives are first synthesized by the copolymerization of tetrafluoroethylene and a derivative of a perfluoro with sulfonyl acid fluoride. The latter reagent can be prepared by the pyrolysis of its respective oxide or carboxylic acid to give the olefinated structure. The resulting product is an SO2F containing thermoplastic that is extruded into films. Hot aqueous nano converts these sulfonyl fluoride groups into sulfonate groups. This form of nafon, referred to as the neutral or salt form, is finally converted to the acid form containing the sulfonic acid groups. Nafon can be cast into thin films by heating an aqueous alcohol at 250 degrees Celsius in an autoclave. By this process, Nafon can be used to generate composite films, coat electrodes, or repair damaged membranes. Properties The combination of the stable Teflon backbone with the acidic sulfonic groups gives Nafon its characteristics. It is highly conductive to cations, making it suitable for many membrane applications. It resists chemical attack. According to DuPont, only alkali metals can degrade Nafon under normal temperatures and pressures. The Teflon backbone interlaced with the ionic sulfonate groups gives nafon a high operating temperature, for example up to 190 degrees Celsius, however, in membrane form, this is not possible due to the loss of water and mechanical strength. It is a superacid catalyst. The combination of fluorinated backbone, sulfonic acid groups, and the stabilizing effect of the polymer matrix make nafon a very strong acid, with pKa-6. In this respect nafon resembles the trifluoromethanesulfonic acid, CF3SO3H, although nafon is a weaker acid by at least three orders of magnitude. It is selectively and highly permeable to water. 
its proton conductivity up to 0.2 seconds per centimeter depending on temperature and hydration state, the solid phase and the aqueous phase of Nathan are both permeable to gases, which is a drawback for energy conversion devices such as artificial leaves, fuel cells, and water electrolyzers. Structure morphology the morphology of Nathan membranes is a matter of continuing study to allow for greater control of its properties. Other properties such as water management, hydration stability at high temperatures, electroosmotic drag, as well as the mechanical, thermal, and oxidative stability, are affected by the Nathan structure. The first model for Nathan, called the cluster channel or cluster network model, consisted of an equal distribution of sulfonate ion clusters with a 40 a diameter held within a continuous fluorocarbon lattice. Narrow channels about 10 a in diameter interconnect the clusters, which explains the transport properties. The difficulty in determining the exact structure of Nathan stems from inconsistent solubility and crystalline structure among its various derivatives. Advanced morphological models have included a core shell model where the ion-rich core is surrounded by an ion-poor shell, a rod model where the sulfonic groups arrange into crystal-like rods, and a sandwich model where the polymer forms two layers whose sulfonic groups attract across an aqueous layer where transport occurs. Consistency between the models include a network of ionic clusters. The models differ in the cluster geometry and distribution. Although no model has yet been determined fully correct, some scientists have demonstrated that as the membrane hydrates, Nathan's morphology transforms from the cluster channel model to a rod-like model. A more recent water channel model was proposed based on simulations of small angle X-ray scattering data and solid-state nuclear magnetic resonance studies. In this model, the sulfonic acid functional groups self-organize into arrays of hydrophilic water channels, each 2.5 nanometers in diameter, through which small ions can be easily transported. Interspersed between the hydrophilic channels are hydrophobic polymer backbones which provide the observed mechanical stability. Applications Nathan's superior properties make it suitable for a broad range of applications. Nathan has found use in fuel cells, electrochemical devices, chloralkali production, metal ion recovery, water electrolysis plating, surface treatment of metals, batteries, sensors, don and dialysis cells, drug release, gas drying or humidifaction, and superacid catalysis for the production of fine chemicals. Nathan is also often cited for theoretical potential in a number of fields. With consideration of Nathan's wide functionality, only the most significant will be discussed below. Equals chloralkali production cell membrane equals Chlorine and sodium potassium hydroxide are among the most produced commodity chemicals in the world. Modern production methods produce Cl2 and nano KOH from the electrolysis of brine using a Nathan membrane between half cells. Before the use of Nathan, industries used mercury containing sodium amalgam to separate sodium metal from cells or asbestos diaphragms to allow for transfer of sodium ions between half cells. Both technologies were developed in the latter half of the 19th century. The disadvantages of these systems is worker safety and environmental concerns associated with mercury and asbestos, although economical factors also played a part. Nathan was the direct result of the chloralkali industry addressing these concerns. Nathan could tolerate the high temperatures, high electrical currents, and corrosive environment of the electrolytic cells. The figure to the right shows a chloralkali cell where Nathan functions as a membrane between half cells. The membrane allows sodium ions to transfer from one cell to the other with minimal electrical resistance. The membrane was also reinforced with additional membranes to prevent gas product mixing and minimize back transfer of Cl and OH ions. Anode side positive and cathode side negative terminal is applied equals proton exchange membrane for fuel cells equals, although fuel cells have been used since the 1960s as power supplies for satellites, recently they have received renewed attention for their potential to efficiently produce clean energy from hydrogen. Nathan was found effective as a membrane for proton exchange membrane fuel cells by permitting hydrogen ion transport while preventing electron conduction. Solid polymer electrolytes 
which are made by connecting or depositing electrodes to both sides of the membrane, conduct the electrons through an energy requiring process and rejoin the hydrogen ions to react with oxygen and produce water. Fuel cells are expected to find strong use in the transportation industry. Equals superacid catalyst for fine chemical production equals nafen as a superacid has potential as a catalyst for organic synthesis. Studies have demonstrated catalytic properties in alkylation, isomerization, oligomerization, acylation, ketylization, esterification, hydrolysis of sugars and ethers, and oxidation. New applications are constantly being discovered. These processes, however, have not yet found strong commercial use. Several examples are shown below. Orchylation with orchyl halides, Nathan H. gives efficient conversion whereas the alternative method, which employs Friedel Crafts synthesis, can promote polyarchylation. Acylation, the amount of Nathan H. needed to catalyze the acylation of benzene with a royal chloride is 10 a euro 30% less than the Friedel Crafts catalyst. Catalysis of protection groups. Nathan H increases reaction rates of protection via dihydropyrin or O-triacyl selation of alcohols, phenol, and carboxylic acids. Isomerization, Nathan can catalyze a 1,2-hydride shift. It is possible to immobilize enzymes within the Nathan by enlarging pores with lipopilic salts. Nathan maintains a structure and pH to provide a stable environment for the enzymes. Applications include catalytic oxidation of adenine dinucleotides. Equals sensors equals, Nathan has found use in the production of sensors, which with application in ion selective, metallized, optical, and biosensors. What makes Nathan especially interesting is its demonstration in biocompatibility. Nathan has been shown to be stable in cell cultures as well as the human body and there is considerable research towards the production of higher sensitivity glucose sensors. Modified nafen for PEM fuel cells, normal nafen will dehydrate when temperature is above 80 degrees Celsius. This limitation troubles the design of fuel cells, because higher temperatures are desirable for a better efficiency and CO tolerance of the platinum catalyst. Silica and zirconium phosphate can be incorporated into nafen water channels through in situ chemical reactions to increase the working temperature to above 100 degrees Celsius. References External links What is nafen? What nafen membrane is right for an electrolyzer slash hydrogen generation? Homepage of Walther G. Grot, Walther G. Grot, Fluorinated Ionomers, Isotopic Effects on Nafen Conductivity. Membrane thickness on conductivity of nafen, nafen hydration.